happy new day and yes regardless of the situation we know that you still love us and we appreciate you so much and now we're going to be talking about uh some new programs on tv3 and also on onya tv which is all part of mgtv which is media general tv and we have the man who is in charge of this um sector uh of media general and then he's here joining us talking to us about the new programs and what you should expect in the coming months as well <coughs> now initially he was the head of digital and also head of radio here at media general quite recently he was given a new position and so officially we're saying congratulations to mr francis doku um he's done an incredible job and we know that as head general manager of mgtv as well he's going to do even more for us and so you're welcome to my home thank you so much this is my home even though you are the head of this home <laughs> thank congratulations you. Uh, on that how does it feel oh well i mean we we're here to work exactly you know, so once you are given a responsibility you you take it and do the best you can so and run with it, it feels yes. good that we can continue to help to grow the media general brand exactly in Ghana and across africa it's a lot of work. The it expectations is. are high, especially after the Geopol ranking that uh, had TV3 at the top in 2019. And so that means that in order to maintain it or to even move higher, we're going to put in some more work. Tell me what accounted for that number one spot and what that translates into moving forward. Absolutely. Uh, I think that we all know that TV3 has been the number one television station in Ghana for, for a very long time mm. um, since we started in 1997. You know, um, almost every year we've continued to, to lead the pack. And last year was another of, of, of those moments where the current market data, which is a JOPO uh, yeah. data that all media buying agencies and the media generally use, said that TV3 was number one. And I think it's on the back of a lot of work that was done last year. Uh, all the shows that we had, um, uh, and, and some of our leading shows, like yeah. Ghana's Most Beautiful, mm -hmm. which was very successful last year, as it has been in previous years. And then, as you know, we introduced Mentor last mm -hmm. year, and it blew everybody off. He had been away for some time, and we hadn't done it for about five years. Mm -hmm. And then he came back, and it was the top of the town. Yeah. And it was very good from uh, uh, late last year to the beginning of this year when it ended. Exactly. So, and all the things that we've been doing, that uh, the telenovelas, the shows the like this one, and everything, yeah. I think all added to ensure that we, we, we led in that way. And you also know that last year we did a bit of improvement on the people that, you know, work with us, mm. including yourself. You know, we had the likes of Giovanni coming, Showbiz 360 started last year, we have Miss G coming, you know, and mm. all that. I, I think the programs that we continue to do, our new shows, are number one. Mm -hmm. I mean, News 360 has been number one for a very long time. Uh, afternoon news, all our news programs, analysis and uh, news briefs, everything. Yeah. If you look at the different segments that they are, we, we lead. So, I think it's 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 a it's a thing about the the programming that we do, the content especially, exactly. and the people that we have who work on our TV screens. We're very grateful to Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's why we pride ourselves as the first in news and the best in entertainment. entertainment and talking about yeah. best in entertainment, we've been trending continuously every Sunday especially yeah. um, with Date Rush. It's, it's magical. Tell me about this magic and, you know, how did we suddenly get to that point where everybody's looking forward uh, to a Sunday evening show like Date Rush. They're talking about it and all of that. You know, there's a joke on social media sometimes that when a president is, is coming to uh, present his address yeah. in this cor coronavirus period, he watches he, he he waits to, watch, yes. <laughs> to watch it before he comes. So that's a joke. But yeah. I think it, 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 it's indicative of the kind of um, impact that um, uh, Day Trash has had, not only on TV3, but generally on, on uh, consumption of tele television content. Mm -hmm. uh, I think everybody wait till Sunday over the last uh, 14, 15 weeks. Everybody waits till Sunday and look forward to uh, watching Date Rush. Yeah. And I think it's, 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 it talks about how if you get a content right, uh, your, your, your yeah. channel yeah. You know, will be accepted by the masses. You know, so not just people watching, because um, the Jopo data shows that on some days, TV3, has about 34 percent of the market hmm. with this rush on a sunday and uh, there was a time that we were about 27 percent. getting even 20 percent share is is, is a tremendous That's thing a lot. 
but that's on television. But we also know that on social media, for instance, on Facebook, there are about, up to a point, we had about 14,000 people watching their trash mm. live, you know, and not to mention about the number of people who watch it later, you yeah. know, as well. But that's just also another one. Uh, the other one is a conversation that go on on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, Instagram and everywhere yeah. about the content. So it's been a very, very good content. The, the decision to move it to Sunday was to look at how to get families to watch. Exactly. Uh, previously, it was on Friday. The first two seasons were on Friday. And then the third season, we decided that to get a lot more people to watch, we think that we need to put it up where mm -hmm. the eyeballs are. Because Sunday, between 8 and 10, for a very long time has been owned by TV3. Mm -hmm. From when we started Mentor in 2006 through to uh, GMB to all the big reality shows that we do. Yeah. So that spot is where a lot of people, and we felt that if we need people to, you know, key in as much as we want, then let's move it then there. And move, yeah. they paid very much, you know, for us. But it's not just that. We look at how you want to look at a particular content and see how to push it across. If mm -hmm. you go on our YouTube platform, they trust it's one of the most watched you know, content okay. there. On our Facebook, after it's shown, it's one of the most watched content there. So it has helped us to find a way to properly integrate our traditional platform with yeah. our digital platforms. And it gives us a reason to look at how to give more to the people that we serve. I mean, talking about yeah. streaming, I'm even hearing that there are people who stream uh, they take the link from the TV3 page and stream on their pages as well to get people to watch Day Trash. Yeah. And so it is that popular. But it is, yeah. I mean, I miss all the conversation. There's also that thought that Day Trash is scripted. And I know we've talked about it over and over again. But you being the general manager of MGTV, yeah. I want you to touch on this again because people still have that perception that all they see on Day Trash is scripted. And so it's really not real. Is that true? Well, I, it, it's not. I think at some point, you know, well, we've been watching Big Brother for a long time. At mm. some point, we wondered if it is not scripted, yes. you know, because of how things end and all that. But I can say, and we have tried to explain that in different ways, that Day Trash is not scripted. It's mm -hmm. a reality show. I mean, I think one of the key definitions of a reality show is that it's not scripted. Um, people come on and do some of the things that they know how to do, and then based on that, viewers judge them, you yeah. know, and all that. So Day Trash... What we, we do is to record and can it and show on mm. a weekly basis. Okay. It is not that we script it, you okay. know, because we feel that people need to express themselves in the manner that they want. And so the producers ensure that they give right cues, you know, and all that, but not scripted. It's not a scripted show. There's no form of it's a influence show. Absolutely on not. The Everything you see on. is what the people want to do and mm -hmm. say. Okay. And so we do not in any way influence how, you know, for example, uh, uh, a free love or uh, uh, an Ignatius or something yeah. would, would do say yeah. or do on a set. It's, a, it's a reality show. So Not even the room. reunion, because I know that's what's showing currently, and yeah. we're looking at the final episode showing this Sunday. Absolutely. I mean, what, what we have done is that we, we realized that Day Trash is a very popular show. Mm. People came on, some got hitched, some lost, you mm. know. There were some who were who were trolled on, on social media and yeah. all that, Ezekiel and all. I mean, some people said we should have sent him to Talented Kids. <laughs> but it's all part of the whole thing. And so we wanted to look at what had happened with them okay. you know, over the period that they were on their trash because they ended at a certain point during the recording and all that. So just to follow up on what has happened between the relationships mm -hmm. and those that did not get you know, and all that, and then let the viewers know at least that the people that they saw during the 13 weeks of their trash uh, this is how they've progressed with okay. the things, uh, the thing for which they came mm. on the show for, which is to get somebody to, to I mean, date, and then when it works into a relationship, it, it continues, or if it doesn't, then they go on. And I think that over the last two that we've done, where they've seen how some of the characters have developed, you know, some of the things that have happened to them, mm -hmm. some good, some bad, and some very ugly. Yeah. But it all adds to the entertainment that we want to give to our audience. So we do not script that as well. It's also, you know, give room for people to come and express themselves in what has happened to okay. them and all that. It's not scripted. Sure. But if this Sunday is the final episode of the reunion for season three of Data Rush, what are we going to replace with it to also still get people glued on to our TV screens? Okay, so as I, I said, Sunday evening between 8 and 10 is owned by TV. It's been done... It's been like that for a very long time, mm. and so it continues. So 
uh, I think one of the biggest shows on TV3 over the last 14 years has been Ghana's Most Beautiful. Okay. And so Ghana's Most Beautiful is coming back with, okay. it, with all its glory mm. and everything about it even better than before. I'm sure that the viewers have seen the promotion of uh, audition, you know, and some of the people that we have asked uh, to recruit the, the, the girls for us. And I'm sure that these are people who have a bit, you know, some level of class and they know what to look for in mm -hmm. people and then try to choose for us the best mm -hmm. girls. So from next Sunday, Ghana's Most Beautiful is back. Okay. Uh, we're getting representatives from all the 16 regions of Ghana. As you know, I mean, we're about the f first television content that, that brought on all 16 regions mm -hmm. last year. Last year was when, beginning of the year, that the uh, president signed the regions into yeah, uh, to existence. Mm -hmm. And we did our best to bring 16 contestants from all the even the new regions. Yeah. You know, so we're continuing with that now. We get 16 people representing all the 16 regions. Okay. And we believe that it will be another exciting season of uh, Ghana's Most Beautiful from the beginning when it starts till the very till end the when very it end. ends until we crown the most deserving, you know, uh, Ghanaian. And I, I think that the, the essence of Ghanaian Miss Beautiful is to try and push our culture, mm -hmm. let the people who represent the regions tell us what's in their region. Um, I mean, give us all the history and tourism issues about their region mm -hmm. and as much as possible entertain us uh, every Sunday night. And so we were very hopeful that we'll have another very successful season and the audience for who we do these things, our uh, clients, uh, would, would get the best benefit out of Ghana's most beautiful. I'm actually looking forward to it. Uh, I've seen a few of the ladies audition here. I know there were auditions that were happening yeah. in other regions as well. And we also have the best uh, team scouting for our girls. Absolutely, and so yeah. I'm sure at the right time we'll give out all that information as well. But definitely look forward to Ghana's most beautiful. But looking at the trend of shows on TV3 now, like I said again, we all know that we're the first in East and best in entertainment. Absolutely. But then it begs the question, what direction? Are we taking a new direction this time around? What really is the direction of TV3 now? Well, Under I mean, your well, TV3 is TV3. It's, it's been doing the best uh, for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, we pride ourselves as giving the best news. Uh, when it comes to issue about news, we give the best news in terms of the... Uh, what, is, uh, what do you call it, factual, how factual the news is and how people relate to the news that we give. So mm -hmm. for us, news has been very key in our delivery and it's not going to change. We're going to do even better, push okay. to, to get the best news for our audience. And you know this year is election year mm -hmm. and everything about elections will take place on, on TV3 from now till the end of the year until uh, a new president is is uh, declared, yeah. whether it is the existing president, Nana Kufado, or any of the people contesting. Mm -hmm. Whoever wins will be declared on TV3. Okay. We are the first in news and the best in entertainment. So you get it here first when it comes to election-related matter. Mm -hmm. And we'll, before even the, the final elections, there are programs that we are uh, releasing now that will talk about things happening in constituencies, okay. um, projects happening, who is, who is doing this and who is doing that. We are, we're introducing new programs and mm. watch out from, from sometimes uh, ne next week. Okay. We'll continue to introduce new programs about election, about you know, giving the people a voice to ask questions of the people who want to represent them, uh, push you know, the, the debate you know, and all that, and yeah. see that proper policies and all that are brought on to bed. So TV3 will lead the way in that. So that won't change. It happens every election year, mm -hmm. and uh, we continue to deliver uh, programs. But uh, also, the things that we would like to add are new content. I mean, if, if you recall, I mean, you know very well that this year, for instance, we introduced a new program that you host. Mm -hmm. We've introduced other programs like uh, Ladies Circle. We've introduced different programs yeah. and we'll continue to bring those content to our audience. We feel like there are other things that we can do which are under discussion and we'll, we'll bring those up also very much to enhance our channel mm. um, because even though we are number one there's still always a room for you to improve absolutely and that's what we'll be doing uh, between now and the end of the year oh well we were hoping you'd give us some more information about the new shows that are coming but i guess we'll have to wait till you're oh, ready to well, give the, up the, 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 the <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll keep that and okay. introduce them as we go along you know because mm. uh, i think that there are a lot of thinking that going to program and uh, 
getting the right content. Mm. And those are some of the things that we're working on. But what we, we will do, uh, continue to improve on, is to give a lot of opportunity for our audience to get our content on the digital platforms. Okay. I mean, because we know that uh, things are evolving. We're in an era where a lot of people can't always sit behind their television to watch the, the, the great content that we have. Mm. So we're working with the digital teams to ensure that we give people a reason to continue to watch our channels Absolutely. even when they are on the go, when they cannot sit in front of a television. A television Times have changed. I mean, back in the day when we watch also for that, you have to be seated physically in front yeah. of your TV. But now people are on the move. There are different uh, platforms, channels uh, that they can continue to watch. What so we're trying to work more around that okay. to ensure that we give the best, you know, to our audience the mm. good content that we have on different platforms. Okay. Now let's move away from TV3, which I assume is the first baby uh, for MGTV. There's also now Onya TV, which is fast becoming one of the leading uh, local language channels in the country. And so what is the direction for that as well? Because already I see people um, tweeting, I like this show on Onya, I'm looking forward to this telenovela, there are new shows coming. What is the direction for Onya? Onya TV is, uh, as you mentioned, our new baby uh, in terms of television. I mean, MGTV is responsible for the television uh, brands mm. in the group. And last year we introduced uh, Onya TV. We launched it uh, in Kumasi. Mm. I mean, because as you know, Kumasi is the hotbed of uh, cultural, you know, issues and all that. So we decided that we launch it in Kumasi to give it that kind of uh, acceptance and relatability with the with the kind of audience that we want to reach. And so Onya is a brand that will talk about things in the local language, mm. uh, programs, content, and all that. And as, as you know, over the last few weeks, months, we've introduced some new programs yeah. like uh, Koponsa Headquarters, Koponsa, yes. you know, <laughs> where we speak about all the gossips that are going on, yeah. no holds barred, with, without any fear or favor to anybody. So mm -hmm. AJ Pounds has been doing that, and it's one of the most watched content on our channel. Uh, we also have Girls Casa, which mm -hmm. we introduced just about four weeks ago, and it's currently now, you know, getting all the bars around. It's where girls talk about girls' things mm -hmm. and other matters related to, you know, uh, people, relationships, issues about, you know. Uh, for instance, last Saturday, it was on gaslighting. Mm. You know, and I must, I must confess that it was the first time I came across the word gaslighting, which is about how you give people a lot of uh, pressure for them to think that they are rather like guilty in a relationship mm. or something. And, and I think that the conversation went very well. It's like that. Yeah. All the shows that we're doing around Girls Casa, you know. That. But there are different programs that we're also introducing uh, on Onya TV. And the biggest is yet to come. Mm -hmm. um, Hopefully in the next two weeks, we'll introduce a new program we call Odor Fever. I've seen the promo. Tell yeah. me about that. I mean... Is it and, a reality and, and, show? What, what exactly is it? And I can't wait for Odor Fever to start because it's, it's a reality show. Okay. I think one of the big things is about how people want to reach out and get people that they want to uh, have a relationship with. Mm. And so we're trying to put out a relationship program. So this is how it works. Two men. Mm -hmm looking for a, uh, somebody they'll go in a relationship with. Okay. Um, and we're lining 12 women, women for the men to choose. Why do we always know. do that? We should let the men line up so the girls choose <laughs> to start off with. I think it is maybe because it's, it's I don't know, but maybe because it's harder the other way than it's it not, is. Like, no, it's not difficult. Really? Oh, it's easy. Isn't. Yeah. Okay. Same way the men choose. I guess it's the same way the women choose. So. Well, I mean, well, well, We'll see. I'm yeah. going to see how it goes. But that's, that's really the, the, the concept. And it's going to be filled with a lot of entertainment, okay. a lot of things about, um, you know, counsel. there'll be counselors on who will mm. give advice on how things have to be done, you know, and all that. And we believe that this is one of the shows that a lot of our audience would like to have a certain relationship with. And there are others as well. We're introducing um, uh, telenovelas, okay. you know, and, and other... But we feel that Omiya should be the one that drives the Ghanaian culture, you know, in a, in a, in a modern, you know, era, mm -hmm. in a modern way, where it relates very much with the audience and all that. And so, I mean, our audience who watch Omiya TV, and those who don't, we ask them to, to watch Omiya TV. Yeah. It's going to be the place where conversations about the big things in culture, entertainment, 
and all the things will be hard. Yeah. And Onya is also going to lead the local language space when it comes to election issues. I see. Just as TV3 is mm. a leader generally and in the English market, Onya will be the place where uh, you want to know what your your your, your MP is MP's doing, doing or yes. your potential MP will do. Okay. You will, will, will give opportunity for people to ask questions, you know, in their language they, they understand. Mm. And, if, and, and what the MPs also can relate to and the contestants can as well. Okay. So it will be a place where issues about politics, current affairs, news and all that will, 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 will take place. Okay. And as you know, one of the things that we are doing now is a similar thing we're doing on TV3, COVID-19 in mm -hmm. coma, what you and Anita do. We have a similar one on Omiya where we break down the issues about uh, coronavirus yeah. and in impact, the numbers, the conversations around it. And that has been running for the past month. Okay. And we'll continue to introduce new programs you know, that relate very much with our audience. Now, before I even wrap up, I just want to ask, my final question would be, so what is the future of MGTV within the scope of the media general brand itself? Okay, so as, as, as I mentioned earlier, we... we we have done a lot over mm -hmm. the years up to now with TV3, and we have also started doing a lot uh, with Onya TV. I think that the future is about how we properly integrate what we do on traditional platform with what happens in digital. Mm -hmm. And those are some of the conversations that we're having. How do we get our audience to continue to experience what we, we have and how we can continue to push them uh, to, we push the content for them to get it yeah. in the manner that they want and at the time that they want. People do not, uh, some people, I mean young people, do not sit and say that, okay, at 9 o'clock maybe I'll watch a program. Mm -hmm. But they want it when they can have it at their own time. And, all. and those are the things that we're working to ensure that we okay. properly uh, do. We also want to assure our audience that we'll continue to be the first, the, the channel that is the first in news and the best in entertainment, which means that we'll give them accurate, non-partial, mm. very factual news any time that we're on and give them also a lot of entertainment across the different platforms that okay. we have. I mean, as you know, our business, let me just chip in a bit, that our business is okay. beyond even television. I'm charging you for this one. <laughs> our business is beyond even television. We have four radio stations in the group. We have 3FM okay. in Accra, Onya FM in Accra. We have Connect FM in, in uh, Takrari and Akuma FM in Kumasi. Okay. And we try to across the platform, give our audience the best content. Mm. As some of our people on Onya would have seen over the last couple of weeks, we are giving them content from our radio platforms, from okay. Takradi, from Kumasi, and from Accra. And so we'll continue to ensure that we integrate everything Absolutely. and give our audience the best content of wherever course. they may be. And we wish you the best. I mean, originally we would have wanted to cut some cake, but since there's no cake, you get some cocoa dairy as your congratulations. Oh, gift. thank you. Yes, I can't shake we wish your you hands. the best. Every morning, just drink one thought thank and you. everything will be fine. <laughs> thank you so much, Bella. So, Mr. Francis Doku <laughs> is the general manager, newly appointed for MGTV, uh, which is Media General TV under the Media General brand, in charge of TV3 and Onya TV. So, look forward to all those spicy shows that we have coming up and the ones that are already showing. And Ghana's Most Beautiful begins next week as well. Now, one of the shows that's also starting on TV3 is today's woman brand new episodes mm. and a brand new host as well and you absolutely love her she's on next and she will tell you all about what it takes uh to be today's <laughs> woman look forward to michelle atto's exclusive on tv3 new day we'll be right back